Hello Neo, I'm going to take a quick look here at the Samsung Stratosphere for Verizon Wireless. This is a 4G device. Uh, we can go ahead and turn the screen on here. That is a super AMO LED screen. And uh, to be honest, we quite like it. it. It's a vibrant and colorful screen. And one of the key features of this phone also along with the screen is the slide out keyboard. Uh, the keyboard uh, has a lot of tactical feedback. Uh, we quite like it. It's spacious. It's not really too hard to type. And um, one interesting little note here is uh, these side buttons, um, like the Android kind of buttons, the, the search, the home, the back, they have haptic feedback turned on as well, which is kind of an odd experience because the keyboard already has uh, feedback in itself and adding the, the virtual feedback just kind of gives it an odd sensation. Uh, the phone is a bit thicker here. You can line it up next to an iPhone 4 uh, and you can see it is quite a bit uh, thicker, um, but obviously for uh, to hide the keyboard somewhere, you know, you're going to have to give up something. So you're giving up a little bit of thinness of the phone. Overall, though, it's a, it's a pretty good device. The 1 gigahertz Hummingbird does kind of lag a little bit at times. Um, you can see it when the screen flips. It's, uh, it's just not quite as a fluid of a motion. Um, if we pull up the web here, um, you can see it a little bit there. Uh, zooming in and out occasionally, you'll get the checkerboard. You can kind of see it there as well. Um, overall though, it's a good little device. The screen is brilliant and it, it's quite responsive. Uh, real no complaints on that. Uh, we haven't gotten this far with the battery life. Um, you'll have to read the review to, to get all that information once we get a good uh, test of that. Um, the back of the device, as I said in the review, it, it's quite plasticky, uh, a little slippery. You can see there's a little bit of wave too, which kind of makes it nice to hold in your hand. Uh, but overall, it's not a bad device. If you're looking for a keyboard, uh, you know, it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, I know for some people that's a, a die-hard requirement. They have to have their physical keyboard and, and this device really shines in that area. So if you specifically only want a keyboard and don't really care about anything else, uh, you know, it's a good phone for that. Uh, it's not the latest and greatest hardware. Uh, it does have a larger than average battery. Um, and the screen, it, it's just brilliant. It's color reproduction is pretty good. A little oversaturated at times, uh, but I'd rather have it oversaturated than be dull and boring. Um, on that, I mean, you can kind of see the difference in the, in the screen size here. This is the iPhone um, 4 right next to it, and you can definitely tell that the Samsung, it, it's just more vibrant in every way. So, if you're in the market, you need a keyboard phone, uh, this is definitely worth picking out. Uh, you should be quite happy with it, and, uh, and that's the Samsung Stratosphere.